Hey everyone, I wanted to tell you a little bit about the Bible Recap for Kids. Uh, before I tell you about the Bible Recap for Kids, um, the Bible Recap is a Bible reading plan by Tara Lee Cobble, where you're going to read chronologically through the Bible, and then yeah, after you read, whether it's anywhere from a few chapters to maybe five or six chapters, probably on average three to four chapters of the Bible, um, you're going chronologically, so it does jump around a little, so you're not doing Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus, Numbers. You're doing like Genesis, and then I think it goes through Genesis 11, then you go to Job, and then you go this. But those difficult passages where you're like, why am I reading through this? It feels boring, it feels this, it feels that. She actually gives you reasons why, why it's interesting. She gives you the story behind it because she's read through the Bible at least 10 times, I think, maybe 11 now. Um, I have found it so helpful. I've read through the Bible completely one time with her. I'm on my second time through. And then she came out with this. It's the recap for kids. So what this is, it walks through the plan that the adults have, and it just puts it in a little bit different format for kids. So you have up here across the top, you're going to have the passage that you're supposed to read for the day. Now, whether or not you fully read it with the kids, I think is kind of up to you. And it depends on, it might depend on the day. There might be some passages that you just want to sum up for your kids. But then um, you might want to be like, today we're reading about Job. And here's some of what happens. Here's the back and forth. And then you pick a section and then you read that to your kids. Um, or like David and Goliath, we were just finishing up on David and Goliath. On David and Goliath, that one is a great chapter to read with the kids because there's so much with it. So on each day, you're going to have a quick look where she picks like a Bible verse that kind of maybe encapsulates what's going on. You get a recap. You get today's God shot. And this is something she does at the end of all of her Bible recaps. Kind of where can you find God in it? Because it's not about reading the Bible just to read it like a story. You're reading the Bible to find God in it. So then you have today's God shot. And then there's activities at the bottom. The activities at the bottom are probably more for I, who, a younger age kid, I think. Maybe like six to nine, five. You could actually probably do it with four and five year olds. So maybe five to nine. <coughs> Excuse me. You could actually do it with them. Um, it's Sometimes it involves like, here's a coloring one. Uh, there's circling two things that are important to you. It is, there's a crossword. Sometimes it's just questions or circle words that describe God to you, a crossword puzzle maybe, or something like that. So it's a variety of things that you can build upon. Uh, but I would, I well, I hope it gives you a glimpse. I think it would be worth it because there's a lot you can pull from this and use to teach your kids. So again, this is generally what the pages look like. You have the chapter, so you know what to read, or chapter, you know what to read. You have a verse to focus on. This is the recap, today's God chat, and then some kind of activity. Now, I will note on a couple of, let's see, I think there's one at the end of Judges. Um, in, there are some places in the Bible that are not necessarily appropriate for the kids to, um, for the kids to hear or be a part of. And I believe on those, you're going to see a little parental guidance. And so mature content in today's Bible passage. So, <laughs> pardon our camera operating. We're working on how to become a better YouTube channel. Um, but it does have mature content in there. So it's not like you're going in blind. Like, oh, I'm just going to read this whole thing to my kids. And then you're like, oh, there's mature content. So she has mature content note in that. But... Again, I hope that gives you a glimpse if this is something that's right for you. Honestly, I'd recommend the Bible Recap. So I would recommend the Bible Recap for kids. But this kind of gives you an example of what you're looking at inside. You can read the whole, whole thing. You can read a part of it. I would recommend that you read all of it on your own. And then you go back in and read some of it with your kids, the parts that stand out to you the most. But if that's too much for you, just start with this and start by reading through this because the point of it is to get in the Bible. So there's my recap of the Bible recap for kids.